Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to my stream. I am Cameron Rusmore. Um, I totally lost track of time. I was faffing around with things. Um, mainly looking at all the achievements that you can get in this game. I have it so that you can't actually see my overlay. And I forgot to change the channel back to the game. There we go. Now you can actually see what I'm doing again. Woohoo! Well, you can kind of see what I'm doing. The Steam overlay doesn't interfere with the game. Um, and I wasn't looking too deeply because they're a they can be a little bit spoilerific. But so far, I've got three of 74 achievements. Um, I know for a fact that some of those achievements I'm probably not going to really get to. Uh, at least this playthrough. Um, I need a merchant because I am carrying lots of junk. I'm not actually carrying all that much junk. What is weighing me down? Um, I need to think about that at some point. Hmm. Oh, well, let's go back outside and find a merchant in the town square. But yeah, I'll, while I was on break, I remembered that I was in the middle of talking about the difference between Baldur's Gate and Diablo in the looting systems. So in Baldur's Gate, like Pathfinder, if you see somebody in plate armor, you kill them, they're likely to drop plate armor. Um, one of the things is, it's like, uh, you, when you're fighting monsters, you're not likely to get much unless they're carrying some trinket around. Um, and when they are carrying some trinket around, it's all fine and well, you pick it up, you move on with your life. When it comes to, um, games like, um, Diablo, is it has a weird, I don't think I need any more rings of protection, because the only person who hasn't got one, which is Tris, no, who hasn't got one? I don't have a ring of protection, but I have this, which is an armor deflection, armor cost. I'm going to put it on me. I don't care. Okay, I'm going to keep it and then put it on me. Yeah. Um, don't need... See, I'm carrying around a, a fair amount of stuff. Fair amount of weight, but not really much to show for it. I mean, I keep accumulating up potions. Eight and a half pounds of cure light wounds. Ah, uh, bu 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 bum. Is my subtitles working? Is my mic working? Can anybody hear me? Is there anybody out there? Hello? Um. I don't think my subtitles are working again. So if I now change it back to this, and then I say something, see no it's not working, or as far as I can see it's not working. I'm saying stuff, but it's not updating my subtitles. I mean, if I tab away from the game, then it suddenly updates. Yeah, um, let me just poke it and see if, so if I go to that and then, well, no, if I go to the introduction screen and then back to the game, that's usually how it works. I'll just click on that to make sure that it's in the foreground. And yeah, no, the subtitles are balked. Always seems to happen every time. No, not sound trouble, subtitles. Or at least I hope my sound's still working. Yeah, my sound's still working, but my subtitles aren't. Unless I'm not in the game. Um, see, while I'm while I have the game minimized. 
the subtitles are updating. I switch back to the game and they stop working. And that's a little bit annoying, but on the same token, I'm just going to turn the subtitles off for the moment. Um, unless there's any objections in chat, I'll try to figure out what's going on with them at a later point. Um, it's just one of those things, it shouldn't stop working. And it annoys me that it stops working, and I don't know what to do about it. Because I could try and close, no, if I close OPS, the stream goes down. Um, and then they end up as two separate videos and I have to stitch them back together again. Uh, that's a lot of gold that I'm making out. Mm, deal. I'm going to go get Valerie that armor. Because uh, I'm not entirely sure what else to spend my money on, apart from maybe build points. Um, but... Valerie is going to get a very nice um, suit of plus one adamantine um, full plate deal wow that was expensive uh, Valerie never save it I don't treat you right because um, that was a hell of a lot of money to spend on one person all according to uh, brr, 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 brr. I was leaving town and I was telling you about Diablo. So in Diablo, when you kill something, anything, it has a chance of dropping some loot. Um, and because it literally is just random tables, a little bit based off uh, the level of the monster, your level and the area of the game. Um, but quite literally, you could start up a brand new game, walk out, murder the first thing, and it will give you something impressive. Um, but it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a literal swarm of flies, without much in the way of physical form, and still it would drop um, something along the lines of full plate armor. Um, so in that game, both the, the loot that you get is semi-rare. Uh, try to avoid them. Uh, I failed to sneak past them. I really do need to go find them trolls, but I want to see if I can find another village in a different town. Um, see, I thought we made friends with the kobolds. Another natural one, there we go. Uh, Tristan kill that cobalt. Nope. Four. Nope, more cobalts. Uh, ow! Let's try this way. Yeah, I punch harder. This should do it. Uh, take out the shaman. Literally just take out the shaman. And the sentry? Oh, the first one who survived the first hit. Um, but yeah, because just about everything could drop something, but it was only... I'd like to say that it was only anything of value, but sometimes it would give you junk. Um, it meant that it was worthwhile basically trying to loot everything. Um, because for the most part, um, it was worth selling because you didn't get a hell of a lot of treasure in it. And also, your inventory wasn't based on weight. It was based on size and shape. And you had this bar that you could fill up and shuffle it all around to try and make it work for you. Um, and... The same applies in a lot of MMOs and other games have got, you know, varying different uh, ways of dealing with inventory and uh, loot. But in Baldur's Gate, I'm like, you know, you can be up against a bunch of, you know, uh, streams and streams of rogues. And each one of them rogues um, will drop a short sword, a piece of leather armor and a couple of coins. Maybe and a of respite? we'll rest when we clear this area, okay? Uh, a bogard. I'm not afraid. 
Um, and, you know, if you're going up against ten uh, rogues, that could very easily be um, ten um, short swords and ten uh, leather armor. Um, which again isn't the worst thing in the world until you realize that so like each one of those is worth you know one gold each and the way that it kind of works in um, Baldur's Gate is D&D &D rules but you have a limited number of slots can't remember exactly how many um, slots you had I think it was a weird number like 16 um, so you could easily fill it up with light stuff um, curious as to what's going on here. We've got a bogard, we've got a wolf. Um, and if you were doing a long dungeon delve, it could get filled up with a lot of junk. Oh, no. And once it was filled up with junk, you go back to, you, you come out of the dungeon that you're in, you crawl all the way back to town because half of you are overburdened. You see that? You eventually get back to town and sell it all off for less than a hundred gold. And it's like, is it really worth it? Especially if you've not managed to finish um, delving into the dungeon. Um, so, after getting bored a little bit of continually trying to bounce back and forth, I don't think this is going to raise my AC. It doesn't. So we can sell that one. I think everybody else is wearing a ring of protection plus one. I mean, I could give it to some of the people who don't join us. Ah, um, that was a short spear plus one. Okay, great stuff. Um, oh, a sack of potatoes and eggs, flour, rice. We got another wolf over here. Hiya. Um, you go back to using the acid splash. You're actually pretty good with the bow, but, um, oh, another natural one, that's six. Um, oh, wolf coming in from the flank. Wolf failing to hit Valerie. Uh, let to kill that one. No, nope. okay, don't kill it. Uh, Tristan, kill that one. Nope, don't kill it. Okay, I'll punch this one and kill it. Another natural one, that's seven. Um, not sure if I should really be counting them, because I've not been counting the crits very well. Um, Octavia. Hey, there we go. Stay behind me. Um, so yeah, for me, after a while of playing Baldur's Gate and getting sick of this sort of like running to and from, I stopped picking up everything, and I've, I found it slightly more enjoyable, because, um, you know, it wasn't so much time crawling out of dungeons and trying to get back to where you were and um, getting ambushed on the road and then having to work out how you were going to um, take all the stuff that you've got from the ambush as well as the stuff that you were carrying from the dungeon. Um, all for the sake of 100 gold because, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, having money um, in role-playing games is really useful. Um... You forced my hand. But at the same token, you know, when it's for something as trivial as a hundred gold, when you can this pick up one be. magic item and it would be worth, you know, a thousand gold. Um, especially if you're in a, a dungeon that's, you know, dropping lots of magical items. It can really be sort of like, why am I bothering with these uh, pieces of leather armor? Um... <laughs> And, you know, I won't criticize anybody for playing it one way or the other, because at the end of the day, you know, if you want to spend time running in and out of dungeons, um, that's fair enough. Um, but yeah, it always did, you know, I much prefer the Pathfinder Baldur's Gate style of everybody drops something, and the same applies for, um... The Elder Scroll series. The Elder Scroll series is actually even more, uh, very much, um, not that. That's the thing that I wanted. Mm, no, let's I didn't want to move five feet. Way. Okay, let's let's shoot him with a crossbow. This should do it. 
Um, because I still get my sneak attack. Uh, okay, Octavia, murder him. Oh, nice. Uh, nearly did murder him. Can you charge? Yes, you can. Fire. Um. See, I just did it there. I didn't really mean to pick up the spear. Drop it. Nobody cares. Um. But yeah, I mean, the Elder Scrolls, you know, can literally be so like, if you see them wearing a piece of magical armor or a, some form of plate armor, you know that when you kill them, they are going to have exactly that item on them. Um, if they're a monster, then they're not going to, they're not likely to drop, um, you know, a ring of protection, for example. They're likely to drop, you know, bits and pieces that you can scavenge off them for crafting. Um, so it's come to this. Which again is, you know, um, in Elder Scrolls it gets even worse because but sometimes, you know, it's all, if you walk into a dungeon and you're fighting uh, three or four people who are wearing heavy armor, um, the chances of you being able to put, pick up and run off with three or four suits of heavy armor is fairly low at times. Um, yes, you can get better at it at later levels. Um, but no, you'd always... I much prefer that kind of system over the the uh, Diablo thing. May we have a moment of um, respite? This expanse can be a perfect place for a farm. Once someone deals with the manticore that claimed uh, the plains as its hunting ground. See, I thought this gave some indication that it could be a town, village, something like that. Uh, every, people want rest. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the kingdom view. Because I know that Tristan should be finished soon. Not Tristan, Jod. Jod. Um, which is really important that he moves on to something else, because he's been doing that for a while. Uh, right. So let us rest up. Begin resting. You smile rarely, Valerie. What troubles you? Nothing. I laugh when there is something to laugh about. Right now I'm busy thinking about how we're going to survive these wild lands. Um. Yeah, Metasos, is it a similar loot system as Divinity? Um, and, uh, well, actually, I don't know about the excessive loot in Divinity. Um, I'm just more comparing it to, uh, I never played Divinity. Um... Divinity is a weird one. Oh, the Divinity series is a bit weird. Um, it's the other. It's the only other uh, IP owned by in Larian Studios, who did um, Baldur's Gate three. Uh, oh, what do we have here? Wand of Greece and a scimitar plus one. Rare roots and coal. A useful household item. A merchant would pay well for it. One gold for... Well, it's next to no weight. So I'll take him. Um, I'm hoping to be able to find a spot somewhere around here. Um, but yeah. Um, if you want to tell us about the loot system in Baldur's Gate 3. I don't think that's too spoilerific. Uh, here's a manticore. Hello. Um... But yeah, Divinity is fairly detailed. I wouldn't say ex um, you know, it's been got the franchise has been going on for a while. Um, uh, 
Oh, okay. You can send any loot you find directly to your camp to sell a salt line. Yeah, that's cool. Um... Yeah, there's, um, that kind of reminds me of a action RPG. I can't remember the name of it. There was a few of them. Um, the interesting facet of that was basically once you did so much, you could retire and then your kid would take over. I think. Um... And in that, you had a pet. Um, it could either be a dog or a cat. And it had its own inventory. Inventory. Inven you ever forget how to say a word? Inventory. Um, and as part of that, you could um, pick something up. And if you didn't want to keep it, give it to the pet. And um, then when the pet got full or where and if you felt like it, you could send the pet back to town and it would return with um, some amount of loot later. I think you lost like 10% by using the pet, but at the same token, it did mean that you didn't have to return to town every five minutes to vend a trash. Um, this manticore is not having a good day. And then his day got much, much worse. Um, yeah, it was very similar to Torchlight. Um, but not... It wasn't Torchlight. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It'll probably come back to me in the middle of the night. Um, ooh, a belt of incredible dexterity. The, 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 the words escaping me. A belt of incredible dexterity, plus two. So this is the constitution one. The thing is, the constitution is not really doing me much nine times out of ten, because I'm either in the background... Um, Yeah, I never did the PvP stuff in Division. Um, it was, you know, I got into that game a little bit later and my friend who had already been playing it, playing it a while at the time was like, yeah, the PvP sucks and you're just going to get murdered. Uh, Tristan, do you have a plus one schematic? You do. Um, we're getting a fair few ones these days. Ones of Acid Arrow. Can you use it? Yeah, you can. Might be useful. Um, if we come across any trolls. Um. But yeah, I'll remember the name of that game. A Petrified Egg. Um. I mean, who wants one Petrified Egg? Uh. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Uh. Lots of people have been murdered in this area. A whimsical berry. Um, I think that is everything. So I killed the manticore. Is there any way that now I can settle a village here? That's what I want to know. Kingdom. Oh, no, I click on these little flags. I did wonder what these little flags were for. Where would I want to build it? See, by the river is always a good idea. Because if you build it inland, then trade is going to struggle. But there is a major trade road up here. But there's none of these points that really are very close to it. So if I click on this, I can build a settlement. Uh, murder source. Name a settlement. 
Um, anything you want. Nothing profane, though. But yeah, Diablo had an easy way of dealing with loot. You had them town portals that you could open, step through, sell your stuff, and you jump back to where you were in the dungeon. Uh, which made it slightly more tolerable. Um, nor would. Okay. Congratulations, we have the village of Norwood. Is for well, P is for prosperity. Um, how to build a kingdom. Um, unlock a secondary stat of your barony. Strong uh, new opportunities every day. Consistent and steady commitment uh, to state affairs will inevitably bear fruit. And on top of that, it will create new openings for future leaders. All right. Resolve 10 events. Increase the barony's rank. Found a new village in the outskirts. Um, I've no idea what this is about. Uh, Curse of Candlemere. Yeah, yeah, we're not going back there just yet. Um, okay. So now that we've done that, there's nothing built yet. But I kind of spent all of my build points on my first little village. I suppose I should put a pier in there at least. And if there's a pier, there should be a shop. Ah. Uh. I recognize the name V for Vendetta. Wooden wall, stone wall, military, affects watchtower, watchtower. Um, tall structure that serves as a guard post and landmark, uh, plus one military when the settlement with the barracks, plus one stability when located within walls. Um, could only be built on a separate slot. Oh, okay, you can build walls. Watchtower. Oh, okay. Keep up the pin. Mm. Keep up. Uh, oh, appearances. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, I could have sworn that the other place find best build Borkin's bloody alchemy shop. Um, he wanted it to be closer to his home, I guess. I now let's build that. Okay, I'm now I'm now pretty much out of build points. Um, yeah, this place is so undefended. It's a terrible idea to have it out in the middle of the sticks. Um, but at the same token, we well will endure. Um, what was I doing? Oh, that was it. I went there just to see if I could build it. Um, but now... <laughs> you have never been to this location. Okay, then. Uh, let's go to my little town. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of different looting systems, and I... I do prefer, you know, Baldur's Gate. Um, and... Uh, the Elder Scrolls style of doing it. Yes, there's games like uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and Torchlight where you have a pet following you around. Uh, welcome, peasants. I am your glorious leader. You are a traitor. Buy junk. Sell junk. Uh, you can also have this ring. Uh, this scimitar, don't sell the Bond of Greece. This short sword, don't want to sell that, actually want to give it to somebody else. A dueling sword that I accidentally picked up. Um, yeah, buy all of that stuff. You're a lowly merchant on the edge of a newly town founded town. You have thousands of gold lying around. 
So that's something I do kind of miss about games where it has that element in it where, you know, um, a merchant will only have so much gold. Uh, which makes sense because you will only be able to sell them so much stuff. Uh, will that give you a little more con? It will. And give you a few more hit points. Because um, you've got constitution... Uh, saving throws against disease, fatigue, and exhaustion really does seem like I'm um, ready style. Um, citizens, guards. All according to plan. Yes, yes, you may greet me, Your Grace. Uh, guards. Um. In due time. Okay, great stuff. It's a nice little cozy town. Not really much going on here for the moment. Not surprising, seeing as I barely built anything. Mm, Tembrus Deeps. What was in Tembrus Deeps? It's five regions to you, that will be difficult. Build a workshop for Balkan in the outskirts region. There we go. Um, Tempest Depths is a dungeon. Ah, that was it. Beneath the Stolen Lands, yes. The DLC dungeon. Uh, which I don't really want to get into right now because apparently it's a really deep dungeon. Ah, ba 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 ba. Welcome, uh. Gnome Jodas. Um. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for coming along. I've. This is kind of like my first playthrough. Um. So I don't really know what's going on, so I just end up wandering around doing not much. I'm supposed to be looking for trolls, but uh, I kind of got sidetracked building a village in the Outlands. Uh, cancel that. Stop there. I got a kingdom notification. Let's deal with that. Uh, events. Ooh, we got new events. New troll sighting. Creston wants to discuss the situation to the throne room. No, okay. I need to go back to the throne room. Right, I shall rest up and go back to the throne room, because I really do want to take care of these trolls. Um, it's just I didn't see the point in wandering around the sticks for ages. How do you manage to always keep your um, hair so nice? Mine always sticks out like a nest. Bunch of quests ahead of me. Yeah, because fair enough. Are you playing it in turn-based or real-time? Um, curious to know. Because I... Put, when this... I actually, pay, I actually bought this when it was being kick-started. Um, yeah, I did think about sending it to auto just to kind of keep it up there, but I, I can't, I'm a little bit of a strategical person, so I kind of like the idea of trying to make it. Um, so yeah, I bought uh, Kingmaker back in the Kickstarter, and it came out, and I was trying to play it in real time, and I just sucked at it. Uh, and the only way that I could actually get anywhere near... Um, to making any progress in it, I had to set the difficulty all the way down so that people just didn't die all over the show. Um, which wouldn't be too bad if you just wanted to enjoy the game. But for me, I kind of wanted to enjoy the game and the tech and tactical elements of it. So I kind of put it on the back burner for a while. And then they came out with the... Um, Dubri, what's it? The turn-based uh, edition. And it's been so like, okay, it jumped to the top of my list and then I decided to start streaming. Yeah, uh, being able to switch the two is nice. Um, I don't switch it because then I tend to get into a bad habit of leaving it on one or the other and I'd probably just end up leaving it on real time until my party just get wiped out. 
um, and then I'd reload it and then turn it into turn base and then turn it back onto real time. Um, so yeah, I can appreciate why you want to do, you know, switch it. Uh, but I have a feeling I'd just get far too reckless with it. Um, but yeah, I've not tried the auto management of the kingdom. Ah, I figured I'd give it a try, see how it goes. Ah, uh, your grace, your grace, still news from the now marches again. Why are the now marches my problem? There are, are there are, were already many trolls there, but now people are afraid to leave the houses. The wilds are said to be swarming with them. The hunters were the first ones to notice. Then came the merchants, delivering packages of food to the outskirts of the barony. Now there are more and more reports of trolls attacking villagers. At first I took the reports for gossip. Thought it was just the fear talking, but a local group of merchants re recently reported that most of the trolls seem to be lurking around the house of uh, one Bartholomew Del Delgado, an old mage living in the wilds all by himself. They're saying there are so many trolls out there, nobody can reach Bartholomew for fear of the beasts. Um, the trolls are up to something, and this strange Bartholomew fellow is clearly entangled in, up in it somehow. If a wizard's gotten some idea into his head to compromise um, with the trolls, we should make it the first move and hit them with a preemptive strike. However, if the trolls are coming for him rather than to him, it would be uh, er, enormous. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Um... Ninety-nine percent of the time in turn mode, it's just uh, that annoying random low-level encounters. Yeah, I've been a few places where it's like, why am I even bothering to do this um, in turn-based? But um, for the most part, I don't find it too bad. And also, I spend a lot of time just talking about random stuff, and when it's a low-level encounter, it gives me plenty of time to talk and uh, don't need to do much thinking about it. Uh, anyway, can't pronounce that. It would be a enormous, yeah, enormous help um, if you could pay a visit to Bartholomew and figure out what's going on. I recommend haste. If nothing is done soon, there may be a grisly fate in store for your subjects. Okay. Check up on the reclusive mage. I will do as soon as I finish playing uh, God with my barony. Um, success. I gain a military point. Success! Rebuild the Temple of the Elk! Divine has gone up by two! Um, right, new events. Uh, three merchants from Absalon arrived in the region. Valerie can deal with that. Great stuff. Enchanted Wind will expire on the first, so I want to do that soon. Do these expire? These do not expire, so I'm going to take up uh, this event first for Jod. Uh, I kind of want that to succeed. I probably shouldn't be using them crisis points as often as I am, but I have two villagers now. Mm. Still no more build points per week, though. Heh. <laughs> Um, I've only just figured out how to, uh, an enormous, um, I'll have been able to switch to between, uh, depending on difficulty or if I have to keep stepping away from the computer. Um, yeah, the, the ability to switch is a really nice touch because, you know, as you've all said, it's always great for the low level encounters. It's great for, um, when you just want to stop and think about it. Um, Where was I going with this train of thought? Uh, but yeah, I found it just unplayable in real, uh, real time. Because um, yes, you can talk like, I think somebody mentioned that over on the Geeks for Good channel, uh, Miles over there was playing it, but he was basically putting it on pause, issuing orders to everybody, taking it off pause, putting it on pause, issuing orders, and it just... I don't know why. It feels like it drags a game down much more than if you just let it play out. 
Um, so we're actually getting military from places. We haven't got a rank up yet. We got seven days. Anyway, we're going to go see this mage. And we're going to... Um, yeah, the Dragon, Dragon Age is one of them where I don't mind the game. Um, but it used to annoy me having to continually pause and pause it. And people will end up dead a lot of the time. But one thing about the Dragon Age was it was interesting being able to actually manually set the AI for what you wanted it to do and under what conditions. Um, here's some relics. Um, give me money. That's just more about the coins. Uh, need to find all five. Need to find all five. Remind me what it is that you want from me. Uh, in your travels, pay attention to items of ancient eras. They must be in abundance of such things throughout the Stolen Lands. For the lands remember stories of the rise and fall of many kingdoms. Oh, okay. And uh, if you find all pieces of many artifacts, I can even recall my smithing schools to re re reunite them. Okay, yeah. Can you turn the AI on and off in Kingmaker, or is that something else? Um, I don't think there is a particular AI that you can set up in... Um, Kingmaker. There is in Baldur's Gate. Oh, you can turn on a, on and off AI. Yeah. Not sure how, but I mean, I'll believe you. Um. Oh, is it by the toggle thing? Okay. Um, yes, those two buttons that I very rarely use. Mm, can you program each of your NPCs? I don't think you I'm can. Tired. Oh, I'm tired. Why am I tired? I should probably know why I'm tired. Did I not sleep in my king uh, in my house? Um. In Baldur's Gate, you couldn't program the AI, but you could select which one you wanted. Dragon Age, you could kind of program it, and it would go down a priority list. Um, so if you had a spellcaster, it's like, okay, if this, if this spell is ready, use it. Um, or if a party member is this much injured, then heal them. Um, but it tended to be a lot of effort. Um, Baldur's Gate, you got to choose which AI you wanted. Um, this, you've just got click to deactivate artificial intelligence. And I do think there's an option in the main menu of the game menu for, um, Yeah, I don't think you can. Uh, in the menus, under options for the game settings, um, I'm pretty sure there was... I've seen an option. It might not be this game. I might be thinking of something else that I've been playing recently. I can't think what. That's going to bug me. Um, I don't think it's there now. I'll, uh, I don't think it's in this game. Actually, why are we going that way around? We want to go that way. No, don't enter that location. Go this way to the Lone House. It seems like a quicker idea. Um... But yeah, there's a there's a few where it's like, oh, don't, oh, that was it, Mass Effect. That's what I've been playing uh, aside of this, where it's like, oh, you know, you can tell them not to use certain abilities and the like. Um, yeah, there's a lot of trolls. Troll, troll, troll. 
How many don't take that kind of abuse from this guy? Um, Octavia is on the acid splash. Come on, Octavia. Um, you delay until after Valerie. Because I want Valerie to get up there first and annoy it. Because she's got AC for days. Now you go up and stab it. Um, and then... Ooh. I say, ooh, four points on a crit is not great. Um, but yeah, Dragon Age was nice because you could program it. Um, but sometimes it took a lot of tweaking and um, a lot of trying to figure out how all the AI kind of fitted together anyway. Um you can't but it did make it slightly more playable in my humble opinion because you could focus on your character and what you were doing if you got the AI kind of tweaked in there. I'll try to make this swift. Um but I found the healer's AI was a little bit annoying at times. Let's um this way. because it would very much be sort of like if you said, oh, wait until somebody's 50% injured before you heal them, um, by the point that it got to them 50% injured, and they got around to healing them, the heal wouldn't go off in time and they'd just die. So you had to say, okay, when this person's... T when anybody's 10% injured, you start healing them. Um, which kind of was a little bit overkill. Um, okay. You're a bit of a mess. You're not looking so great. Octavia, take that guy out. Um, is everybody in the bubble? Yes, you are in the bubble. Let's have some channel healing. I, I, channel healing. Ooh, nice numbers. Um, Valerie. Is there any way of attracting attention? Demoralize? No. Tree Affliction, Coup de Gras, Charge, Acrobatics. Yeah, no, nothing really in there that will say, oh, hit me. Because um, I really don't want to die. But I really do wish you'd all just hit Valerie, because she's got AC at the wazoo. This should do it. Um, right, and let's have some courage to try and get rid of the missings. Um... You deserved it. Won't kill me. I'll survive. That's not very nice. I'll survive. Luckily, they're not doing a good job at getting through to Valerie. Uh, Amory is pretty much dead at this point. That just didn't do me much in the way of favors, but it stopped this. the regeneration. Um, how are you not dead yet? Do not oh, come on. There we go. That's one now. Um, but yeah, because of the complexity in the AI, occasionally I'd end up just basically sort of like if you if it was a healer, it'd be sort of like you heal people. That's it. That's all you do with your life. Um, and ignore them being able to do damage. Which, to be fair, it kind of worked, uh, but it meant that combat was a lot slower because some people were just literally hanging around um, trying to uh, heal people when they, if I could get the AI to behave, it'd be a case to be able to um, do some damage and heal some people. I am going to switch back to my punch dagger and stab this guy. Because um, these guys are slightly weaker. They have a lot of reach, though. This is where I stab it. Ooh, nice. Um, that hurts. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, yeah. Hit Valerie. She can take it. She's got hit points. And AC. 
Uh, bum, 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 troll. Goodbye. Ooh, nice. Repent. Nope. Mm, Valerie, go for it. Nope. I think that was another natural one. Yeah, critical miss. I've lost count of how many that was. Um, not bad, not bad. Wait there, though. Um, Lindsay, we'll go after this one. Um, Ooh. Alright, Octavia, focus on this one. I kind of understand why they focus on um, Valerie for a while and then stop because, you know, it's nigh on impossible. That's just good thinking because you just wouldn't uh, continue wailing if you're not getting the hits in. But at the same token, it's the fact that they're so bloody dangerous the moment they decide to attack somebody else. See, here we go. I'm probably going to get killed again. Um, certainly in the negative hit points. Negative four. Great stuff. One, I can't try and keep on top of one of them. Uh, Tristan, do me a favor. Stick me back together, would you? Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Sixteen and three D eight plus a lot because it's Tristan. Um, no worries, no worries. I'll let it hit that guy. Uh, move back a little bit more. And hopefully the trolls just beat up Valerie. There we go. Yeah. Impossible to hit Valerie. Oh, nigh on impossible to hit Valerie. I'll try to make this swift. But everybody else compared is squishy. Right, hit that guy just to keep both of them occupied. This is where I Is the game trolling you? But um, Tish, resident comedian, British bumba shoot everybody. Um, that's a resident comedian. He thinks he's funny at least. Um, no, he does try to keep everybody entertained, and sometimes his puns hit. Just yeah, that one kind of missed. These guys really have a lot of hit points. It's been a while since I leveled up. I don't think I've leveled up since I got the barony. Uh, what turn are we on? Turn 12. This will hurt. And then he exploded. Serves you right. Uh. I'll fight if I have to. You forced my hand. Right, now you have his attention. Shoot, change to punch dagger, and Let's move. Try this way. And hopefully it doesn't get any funny ideas and start beating me up again. But yeah, Valerie is just an absolute you beast. Especially since though she's now got the adamantine, adamantine? Uh, armor. 
Because even when they do manage to get that natural 20 to hit, um, straight up reducing three points of damage off the top. Um, and that's what I like. I like the sneak attack, um, and it needs a two on the die to hit, um, and does a lot of damage. It's just this game. If it starts hitting me again, I'm gonna have to back up or die. Ooh, there we go. Right, uh, Tristan, let's have. Uh, actually, let's go for a big one for Emily. She's got a lot of hit points. Bush. Um, let's actually use up another one on her. Nice. Um, actually, why am I doing that? I've got a wand of cure line, cure moderate. What else do I have? Fine traps, crease. Uh, yeah, use a wand on me. I keep forgetting he's got that. Hmm. Tower shield specialists are great tanks. Yeah, they are. Um, especially when you get them to the point of full plate plus one. I'm hoping to be able to find a tower shield of at least plus one at some point, but she's level five with the 29 AC. Um, but I've got some feats in there because it's a um, ring of protection, uh, full plate armor, plus one. Heavy armor focus is another plus one. The tower shield is plus four. The shield focus um, feat is also a plus one. And she's got a plus one dodge bonus from somewhere, which still counts somehow. Um, that'd be a dex, and that actually allows a max dex penalty of plus one. Um, so yeah, she is a beast and you know the hit point she's got on top of it all is just really adds into there as well i can actually just loot all of that um trap deals four points of damage to the troll oh here's more trolls hello oh Ha ha! Surprise! Yes, go after the tank. Can you step up and stab that thing? Let's try for the moment just with the ranged attack until. Um, we know that it's hitting Valerie. Um, do you have a range weapon? Not sure if you do. No, oh, you do. Sure, why not? Ooh, Jesus. Uh, what the fuck? CR 12 Aberration Undead Run. Oh, you went camping. Um, yeah. This is for you. Yeah, you think that they'd um put a little bit of a warning label on that? Oh wait, no, they did. The dead bodies all around that camp. I did exactly the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's all like, oh yeah, I'll just camp here. I, I need to camp, and it saves getting out of the screen, and then this little skull appears and just wipes out the entire group, and it's like, yeah, nah. Uh, it's kind of in my to-do list somewhere along the line to wait until I get up to that level. 
of, you know, around about 10, maybe 11. Uh, and then just go camping there again. Damn you. You got through my AC. Uh, Alright. Um, it has... Well, Valerie has its attention. Shoot. And switch back to the punch dagger and then move. Mm. Oh. Lot not. of crits going on. Switch back to the ginormous sword and move forward. Um, do you play Rimworld at all? I do play Rimworld occasionally. Um, I have thought about doing it on stream at some point. Um, and just messing around. Um, it's one of the games, again, it's one of them games where I've not really gotten that deep into it because it's like, I know roughly what's going on, um, but not enough to know what I'm tr trying to do apart from maybe get off the planet, I think? Um, technically, you've never camped there, to be fair. I mean, if you want to be... Um, precise about it. Yes, technically, I suppose. Let's summon giant spider. Uh, we found a multiplayer and quality of life mod that makes it really fun. Um, We've down better ones. Yeah, can we get rid of the trap first? No, okay. There's a lot of giant summon summon giant spiders around. So this is just something that you can't do in D&D. Um, right, we just get a move at the moment. It's a surprise round. And it's not really much of a surprise, I knew that they were there. Um, yeah, there's plenty of spiders around. That should be okay for me to move that close. Um, yeah, we'll do. And uh, if you want to send us a message on Steam as to what mods and quality of life stuff and our luck at getting them installed, um, I'm messing around on it. For the most part, you know, I've played it and build up a little something. And it's one of them games where it's, I'm not entirely quite sure how it would work as a multiplayer. Um, but I'm open to try, because uh, I do like being pleasantly surprised at times. Alright, can you disarm this trap already, because I'm definitely afraid somebody's going to stand on it. Um, bum ba bum ba ba bum we done acid damage Stay to this thing? Me. Um, you can't do giant spiders and trolls in DNA. Um, no, it's the. This is six summon spiders um, by one individual. I'm not entirely sure. You you certainly can't get quite as much uh, summoning going in DD. Um, because it's all based around concentration. And in Pathfinder, the concentration rules are slightly different. Somebody actually has to come up and hit you for a chance of losing concentration. Um, let's have some acid damage on that, please. There we go. Uh, troll, first troll is dead. Um, so it's come to this. Another natural one. Uh, all right. Um, but yeah, in Pathfinder, it's all like, oh, I've got six spells of um, summon monster, and you can cast them all as long as you've got enough time to do it. Um, uh, to you two. Um, You know, I can't remember. Yeah, these are all summoned. Um, I 
Oh yeah, need to kill it with acid, which isn't running up to it, Octavia. Why? Why would the game think that, that was what I wanted it to do? Um, fireballed his own minions and then Amory two times shot him. Um, I. Oh yeah, Tartuccio is not the smartest of people. Um. Let us strike as one. And yeah, I think to a certain degree that whole walking in there and him just using his own minions as cannon fodder uh, is just there a little bit uh, about scaring you off. Um, but yeah, I find the AI in this game is not exactly the smartest at times. Um... You know, the number of... This hurt. Mm, wow, you really can't kill these things uh, without a little bit of acid. There we go. Um, oh god, there's more of them. I just want to speak to the wizard who lives here. Who's up? This is... Lindsay. Oh, just found another branded troll. Um, this is Octavia. There we go. That should mean that they're killable. Two more branded, two more regular. Um, and these spiders are just sat around doing pretty much not much. Wow, you're gonna go the long way around. Try this way. <sighs> oh, hello. That's a bad thing. Um, yeah, let's get some acrobatics. And run away! Right, that's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Because I've just aggravated four, five more things. Um, attack the nearest target. Uh, I follow general disabled top enemy AI in low difficulties. Yeah, they. Mm. The thing is, even uh, tabletop, you know, it's all. If I have a bow, I'm not going to be firing it into melee because, you know, in Pathfinder rules, you will provoke attacks of opportunity. Um, and they just never seem to switch weapons. Mainly because I don't think a lot of them have alternative weapons, but at the same token, it just seems a bit daft that they wouldn't take the five foot step back and then shoot the bow to avoid uh, the attack of opportunity. Um, and that's where the AI bothers me. Uh, I'm still surprised when Tatuccio showed his full uh, size dragon form. Um, yeah, that surprised me too as well, uh, British Bumbershoot, but, you know, spoilers. Um, right, spiders, if you guys could hold those ones off, that would be great, because I'm having to deal with the others. Um, you deserved it. No, that didn't help. Hmm. What are you? Where are you running off to? No, bad troll hound. Bad. Oh, 
Okay, we might have a problem here. Shit in hell, Tristan. You're one decent attack spell and you always freaking miss with it. Right, who is this? This is me. Stab this guy. Um, that stings a little. Um, right, Valerie, get rid of this guy. No, okay, don't. That stings. If you could stop that, it'd be preferable. Yeah, I mean, I try the nearest target. He, yes, sometimes they just go for the nearest target, which is kind of fair enough. Um, but at the same token, let us rage. I just feel that you know it's all. If they could use, did you get? Oh, you got tripped up. God dang it! Alright, Lindsay, you're gonna wanna move a little bit over here. And how injured are any of these are not injured at all. Not go oh good, it's going after somebody else. Me. Not great, but okay. Right. You can't stop me. Do trollhounds have the regeneration? It does have regeneration. Great stuff. Okay, at least you hit. And they're out of freaking spiders. We are in so much trouble here, folks. Um, cause that's me dead again. Cause I don't go down when I'm injured. I think I might actually have to reload this and do the sensible thing of walking in with the spiders through the front gate. Because uh, you're going to stand up, you're going to provoke three, maybe four attacks of opportunity and go straight back down. I oh know, just one. Woohoo! Alright. You're still not looking all that great. Nope. It kind of sucks. Right, move five foot this way. And how many people do you capture in the Inspiring Courage? That's everybody. Um, five foot that way. Start the regeneration on the one ball. Okay, that's great stuff. That's one down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go. Mm. I'm supposed to be wrapping up in five minutes. Uh, Tristan, move over there. How's everybody looking? Good. Let's do a channel positive. Um. It was a little bit wasted because him and Octavia are not injured. Right, you're next. Wow. That was one round of attacks, nearly took out Valerie. Um. Right, where's Octavia in that? Is that? No, it's still not bleeding dead. Um, right, move five foot that way. Um, that thing is down, but it's not dead. Go after that one. Right, can you even get far enough away from them not to provoke an attack of opportunity? Here's hoping. You did provoke, but they missed. Just. 
Uh, there are many cool weapons type in Pathfinder that are underwhelming and usually ignored. It's a pity. I like the one that looks like a giant shuriken. Oh, the Star Knife! Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's one of the advantages, disadvantages of um, Pathfinder is the fact that you do actually have options. Um, of different weapons, um, a lot more than you get in other systems. But yeah, like you say, there's some which have such limited use, um, and don't really go that far out of the norm in terms of damage. That it's all like, yeah, it's just another option that nobody's ever going to use. Uh, who is this? This is Valerie. Stand up and attack this guy. Uh, Octavia, dodge better. Well, you're dead. Um, we have a problem. Uh, because I do not have anybody who's very good at throwing bombs and I do not have many acid bombs um, oh you need to stand up and die great stuff I don't think I can do this folks healing fire I need your breath healing fire my Sharona um yeah, I am supposed to be quitting in like two minutes time. This is not going well. I am going to have to load up from the last save, which was this one. Um, and then I'm going to save it. Uh, and then I'm going to leave it here and be a little bit more careful on this the next time I come in. Um... It's a little bit of a shame uh, to leave this on a TPK and having to reload. Um, I do think that it was uh, like the way that I went through when it got to the spiders at the back. I should have just waited until the area cleared up a little and supported the spiders a bit and not had to deal with nine enemies all at once. Uh, I think that is ultimately what overwhelmed me. Uh, but we live and learn. And unlike in tabletop role-playing games, everybody lives to fight another fight because save and load. Um, I'm going to put it on the... No, that's the right back screen. There we go. The stream is now ending. Uh, thank you for coming. Don't forget to drop us a follow. Uh, I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, please check my schedule for that. If you end the missed a session or want to catch up, if you go to my YouTube that Nightbot has just dropped in, um, I have the uh, streams all backed up to there because Twitch will delete them after so while because I'm not popular enough. Um, well, Twitch will still delete them even if you are popular. It just gives you longer if you are popular. Um, and also on my YouTube channel, I am playing through Command & Conquer Remastered, uh, most of the way through the Nod campaign now. Uh, that should be finished and released over the weekend. Um, and also if you subscribe uh, there, you'll get notifications when they get uploaded. Um, I think that's just about it for now. Um... So yeah, hope to... Oh, I keep forgetting, right at the end of the stream, as long as Halfsinger Games has started streaming, we are going to go raid them. Let's find out. Are they run... Mm, that's weird. They don't appear to be going yet, and they're usually a few minutes... Oh no, they are going. Alright, so if you'd all like to join with me, I am going to go raid Halfsinger Games, who is currently, who will be this evening, if they've not changed their schedule, playing through a actual play 
podcast, although it's on Twitch, so it's live, uh, of a homebrew Starfinder game called Starfound. Um, and if you don't want to join me, don't feel free. Uh, feel free, leave the raid, and I uh, hope to see you next time. All right, chatty bye.